let me start out by asking uh, Gilda slash Rita, should we assume that she is now one of the undead? Yeah, I think that's uh, that I can safely tell you, that the next time you see her, she will have some white hair. Okay. Yes. And, uh, you know, already she's been kind of a fun nemesis for Liv. Well, now it'd be even more of a sort of a, a physical match, as it were. Um, yeah, I would say right now uh, they, they do meet each other again before the end of the season in a big way, I will say that. But um, Gilda's immediate problems have to do with her father. Like, that's that's... That's her first uh, hurdle to, to get past. Um, but but she, and, uh, she and Liv do meet up again before the end of the season. So you've got, you've had all these different villains this season. You've got Mr. Boss, and you've got Vaughn, you've got Blaine, of course. Are they going to start to sort of cross over more? Might we see them all in a scene together? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I think that there's, I think there's going to be some crossover. There's the, there'll be some villainous crossover, yes. Yeah. Uh, the last few episodes have been really fun as far as taking these different plot lines and sort of really bringing them together and having some character crossovers we hadn't seen. Will that continue, especially because you have these different threats and villains that you've been building towards? Yeah, maybe naively or uh, like we really planned on a 22 episode season. We were hoping for 22 and and uh, when we got six in, uh, back six instead of a back nine, I think maybe the smart thing to do would have been to thin out the plot and and for the most part, with a couple of small exceptions, we just instead accelerated everything and tried to throw in nine episodes worth of story into these six, which have have made it a, um, a pretty chaotic but really fast moving and I hope fun final six episodes. Um, uh, so yeah, plot continues to come at you fast and furious and uh, and I may have forgotten the second part of that question. <laughs> <laughs> I did too, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. and can you talk about, you know, uh, the, the Gilda of it all too, and uh, now that she's, you know, transforming herself, uh, her father is not the best father. How might no, she deal with that imagine, situation? Can you imagine how messed up you would be if Vaughn was your father? <laughs> I think that's enough to mess someone up. Um, I think that she's uh, she's going down a road. Like, there's not, she's not... She's not a redeeming, she's not going to, you know, see the light. <laughs> you know, there's not going to be that moment where she's like, I'm going to be a nice person. I don't see that happening for her. But um, she's, we have not seen the last of her, I will tell you that. And I adore her, man. She does some fun stuff at the, as the season progresses, she gets to do some cool stuff. If you're a Gilda fan. I am a Gilda fan. I'm a Gilda fan, so yeah. Your finale last year, you know, you went really big with the finale as far as, uh, you know, the, the, the meet cute and uh, the, the major of it all. Uh, you know, this year, you know, sort of looking at it similarly as like a big set piece or is a different vibe to it? Um, I, I was just saying to uh, the cast members that, that as big as last year's season finale was, I think this one dwarfs it. It is, you know, last year I feel like we had one act of massive action you know as major shot up meet cute I feel like the action starts in the second act of this one and we have like four solid acts of it's the closest we've ever come to a zombie movie you know like the traditional um, yeah it's it's by far you know the, the title of the season finale is Salivation Army and uh, it's the most zombie action we've had. Uh, Major and Blaine are uh, not in a good place. Uh, they've got this death sentence on them, and, and Blaine's further along. Can you talk about that? And, you know, Blaine right now is kind of trying to laugh it off, but how much, how quickly will this become a pretty pressing issue for both of them? It'll become a, an issue pretty quickly for, for Blaine. And, um, you know, the thing I'm joking saying is that the cure has a negative effect on him and a, and a positive, and that he somehow gets better looking as the season progresses. I don't know if that's just David Andrews acting that way or if it's the cure affects you. But um, yeah, it's definitely gonna mess. The cure is not, it's not all over. We didn't just cure zombieism and everything turns out happy. It's gonna, it's gonna mess some things up in a big way. You uh, have been integrating a lot of awesome 80s music. Uh, can that, can, will that continue in these last few episodes? Uh, Actually, you know, I just was putting, one of the last things I was doing was putting the music in the season finale, and I ended up using some 60s soul and then some 70s disco in it, and then a lot of Rob Thomas music. So it's, a, it's, a, it's more of a hodgepodge. Uh, uh, I think we do, yeah, I, yeah, I came of age in the 80s, so I'm always slipping that stuff in. Um, 
But yeah, we've sixty soul, seventies disco, and Rob Thomas. That's that's really the finale. We should clarify the other Rob the Thomas. Other Rob Thomas, <laughs> yes, yes, the other Rob Thomas.